is James Peters coming live to you from the top of Grouse Mountain. And, uh, you know, we just thought you'd take in a little tour of uh, the vast uh, yurt and sort of some of the things uh, that we do up here. So let's go for a little walk. I'll show you our building and uh, show you where we help tons and tons of people. All right, sometimes when I arrive, uh, there's this problem where there's like two feet of snow in front of the door. Wake up in the morning, this don't know so what to do. I think that I'm the wrong out with the crew. I'm gonna do some stuff. It's my click of my friends. It's like we like the party and the party never ends. Wake up in the morning, don't know what to do. I think that I'm the wrong out with the crew. Out with my peeps, my click, my friends. It's like we like the party and the party never ends. All right, now that I can actually see the door, let's go in, take a quick look, and I'll uh, give you a little tour. Now, if you've ever been, never been in a yurt, I was always shocked how big this actually feels on the inside. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's actually 30 feet from edge to edge and uh, supplies everything we need to run all of our programming up here at uh, Gross Mountain and do all of our training. As you come in, if you take a left, you end up sort of uh, in our tech work area where we can do all sorts of repairs and everything, all the different skis and whatnot. And then we have our wall of sit skis. And uh, really important to have lots of different types of sit skis because there are lots of different types of people. So different size, different shape, different mechanics. And let me show you a couple cool ones. So this guy is called a snow cart. Very cool. What's really cool about it is that you can actually control this whole thing with one hand and you can see how it articulates down at the bottom, just exactly like our feet would moving from right to left. And through doing a few different things, you actually get the ski to pivot. Amazing toy. Then um, I'll leave that one for a second. We'll walk um, just around this way. So, sorry. Okay, and as we walk over to this part of the room, we got a little technology center with a big screen for training, video analysis, all that kind of good stuff. Tons of outriggers for helping people with balance and initiating turns. Of course, our incredible uh, wall of jackets. Really cool story, actually. A company you probably heard of called Arteryx uh, donated like 100 jackets to us for volunteers. I love when community comes together. Um, it makes everything possible for VAST. And then over here, we just have so many things you wouldn't even think could be effective in a ski lesson. Like, uh, you know, this guy. Sometimes that's just the motivation people need to ski. Tons and tons of interesting things. And then we have this corner over here, but you know what? Let me turn off the lights and we'll take a look at it. I always think this all looks way cooler with the lights off. We've created this whole little area for people with a diagnosis called ASD or Autism Spectrum Disorder. And some of those times they just need ways to kind of chill out and kind of lose the world. So we've uh, put this little corner together so they can totally do that. So if we take a look here, we've got this cool little fountain with little fishies and it bounces back in refracted light. We've got some crickets playing. I don't know, can you hear the crickets? And then one of my very favorite things, let me just uh, put down this camera and I'll show you really quickly, is this cool hammock chair. And this thing puts a ton of pressure around you, like you're just getting a big hug, and it's amazing. Uh, anyways, this has been James Peters from Grout. Oh no, my God, I forgot to show you one more thing. Hang on, let's take a look. All right, this is the newest addition to our fleet of amazing tools that we have, and it is called the Tetra Ski. I know it looks a lot like kind of the snow cart. It's actually built off the same, same frame, um, but a group of... Uh, mad geniuses that are just so much respect in Utah uh, have gone and developed this for people that have really complex injuries. It is actually controlled by this joystick or you can actually put a little straw in your mouth and through combinations of sipping and puffing, steer this all the way down the mountain completely independent by yourself. It's awesome. I'm always just so proud of all the things that Vast does and so proud to be a part of it. And uh, I hope if you're up on the mountain and you see the door open, come in and say hi, take a look around, and uh, have a great night. Enjoy the movie. Oh, I'll have some more stuff about that Tetra Ski in a second you can check out too. We'll see you later. From Grouse Mountain, British Columbia, James Peters from Vancouver Adaptive Snow Sports.